pound to one two and absolutely not one one right up inflation of the detrimat uh, i will link to a video on how to do that if you're going over plywood you want to use a modified thin set to install mat onto the plywood uh, the kind of things that you would use look for A118.11 or A118.15. They're, the, they're the two modified versions of things that, that you can use to install the Dietra mat on a wood subfloor. If you're going over a concrete subfloor, then anything set will work. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. The system is composed of three parts. The Dietra mat, the thermostat, and the wire itself. In the thermostat, you're gonna find this wire. I already pulled it out. So the thermostat, you get the thermostat and a sensor wire. In the, the wire box, you'll also get, you get the wire, and then you'll also get a sensor wire as well but you install both so you have a backup the thermostat's going over here but so you only connect one of the sensor wires and the other one is as a backup you only need a multimeter but if you have a mega ohm meter that will give you five years extra warranty so sensor wires so we have two sensor wires we have the direction. And I can put this aside. Wall connections here. This has to be done by a licensed electrician. There are three versions of this. This is the touchscreen. There's a standard one. And then they also have a Wi-Fi version. There's a label on here, and it tells you the ohms that we need to test for. And it has to be within 10% of this number. We're going to test that in a second. What we need to to fill out. Got the number here and put it over here. Factory value is 17.7 .7 ohms and I put that there. I'm going to test the wire three times. Once when we take it out of the box, once after we get it in, in the mat here, over here, the third time after the tile's installed. So let's test this right now and see what the ohms are, if it matches this, it has to be within 10% of... So I have the alligator clip clips connected to the wires, one to one side, one to the other. Use alligator clips if you can, it makes your life a lot easier. So I'm gonna put this here, 200 ohms. And it's 17.9, 17.8. That's within 10% of the factory value of 17.7. 17.7. 8. Conductor resistance test. Now we're going to do the conductor and ground. I'm going to set this to the alarm. It's going to make a sound if you touch these together. You're going to put one wire on one lead. We're going to put the other on the ground wire. So that should say I or OL. It says I and it actually tells you right here I or O infinity or overload that test is a pass also so I'm going to put I two tests are the only two required tests this one here is you need a mega ohm meter to do this test it's not actually required but you get extra warranty if you do it so this is a mega ohm meter once again I'll get clips so you're going to put one or the other will get clips on the lead and you're going to put the other one on the ground wire. I'm going to set these to a thousand volts. You want it to go over a thousand. The mega meter test is good. So that sends a thousand volts through the wires so you don't want to touch them as it's discharging. So it says it right here equal to or greater than one giga ohm and it passed that. So those tests are done. These are sensors, so it measures the, the, um, the temperature. So if you kept one in the truck 
and then and one was in the house they're going to be at different te um, temperatures they're going to have different readings now these have been sitting here for over an hour so they should be more or less at the same temperature the temperature in here is about 70 degrees so once again connect one to one side one to the other so you got some some temperature ranges here we're between this range is 68 and 77 so it should be somewhere between 12 and 10. I'm gonna put this on 20k and we're at 11.8 that's about right test the other one and that's about and that's about the same okay so I recorded all those values the testing is done for now. We can put the wire in the mat and then we'll test it again. This is the cold lead. This part here, this black part. And that there, this here is the cold rice. This has to be buried in under the tile in the thin set. And this is the wire that goes in the mat. And this is the wire that goes up the wall. As you can see, I have marked that where the area of my wire is going to be. So the rule is you have to stay three inches away from a wall at least. I'm staying six inches away. I'll tell you why in a second. Here I'm getting a little closer because when you get in and out of the tub you want to want it to be nice and warm. Over here there's a I, there's a vanity. It's a wall hung so it's gonna there's gonna be airflow and uh, the vanity so you can actually go under the vanity. This is the tub area. The tub is actually going to go to this mark here. So I'm staying three inches away from that. You can't put wire under a fixed object where there's no airflow. If you have a vent, see there's a vent up there if that was on the floor. Let's just say this 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 square right here was your your bent in the floor then you would stay eight inches away all the way around from that you have to be a distance of eight inches away if you had a radiator along that wall you would stay eight inches away from that too that wire there will cover 64 square feet on a three puck spacing and it'll cover 54 square feet on a three two spacing and the reason why i leave the uh, six inches just in case you're running long on the wire, they give you another run all the way around that you can do to eat up that wire. So this is the cold splice, from the cold to the hot. This has to be buried under the tile. This goes up the wall. All the rest of this goes under the tile. So I snaked the wire up through the conduit. going to do two, three spacing. So push the wire in. You can use, either use your fingers like that, but use something plastic. It could be a rubber float, it could be a wooden crown, it could be a plastic crown, and just push it in. Two, three spacing. Three, two, three, two, three, two. You can do three, three if you want, or you can do three, two. You can't do two, 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 and you definitely can't do one, two, and absolutely not one, one. It'll, the wire will overheat. So it's either three, two spacing or three, three spacing. In the book, it'll have the square footage that'll cover for each wire what the square footage it will cover. In each computer. So if you make a mistake, just pull it right up and redo it. Okay, so the wire is all in and I covered the area I needed to cover. So it worked out very well. So it's all three, two, three, two, and you can change directions. So see this spacing here? See this is two and there's still three. So you can change directions. You don't have to 
keep it going in the same direction. So if you've got to run longer than 10 feet, what you want to do is do a little in the middle of the wire if, if the run is longer than 10 feet. If it's not longer than 10 feet, then you can just put it straight like I have. Put in the sensor wires, one here and one here. But it has to be at least a foot in. So both of them are in, and you but you're only gonna connect one. You snaked it through the wall. The wire and the sensors, they actually can all go through the same conduit. They don't have to be separated. So now I'm gonna do the second test, exactly the same way as I did the first test. And once we've done that, we can, we're ready to install tile. Let's do that second test. One on there. One on there. 18.3. So that's still within the 10%. So do the other test. One on the lead. One on the ground wire. And that's it for the sensors. 12.51. Got a sensor. 12.49, so we just call it 12.5, both of them. So that's good too. So the remaining test is a mega ohm meter test. One on the cable, one on the ground, thousand, test. Okay, so test the second test is, the set of tests is done. Now I can install the tile and then we'll test it for the third and last time once the tile, the floor tile, floor tile is completely finished.